Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to create visually appealing building elevations using Autodesk Revit. So currently I'm here in my Autodesk Revit and I'm going to choose one of my previous models that I haven't already done an elevation for. So we're going to pick this skylight model for example. So you can see the 3D model of the building and what it looks like here and in this video I'm going to break down how you can add ambience, lighting, how you can add the skyline and also how you can add shadows to your elevations. Now this is the current elevation looking at the east for the skyline building that I'm talking about and you can see that it looks pretty bland so you can't really tell the difference between you know it's not really showing that much depth and that much detail so in order to do this the first thing you want to do is to go into the left properties panel here and then you're going to look for just scroll down if you don't see it in the first few lines where you're going to look for the graphics display options and then go on to click that and say edit and it's going to show you the graphic dialog box here can see the current style they're using either hidden line or wireframe or shaded or consistent colors i'm going to leave it on hidden line for now so the first thing we're going to add is the skyline and then you can go over to the background that's the last option here so you go on to select the arrow down you can see background is currently set to none and then you can go on to change this from none to a sky when you go on to select sky you can just hit apply and once you do that you're going to see the sky option turn up in the revit model now this looks a bit intense from what i was trying to look for so i'm going to also alter the skyline it kind of depends on where your sun is located but we're going to change the sky to gradient and then you can see gradient has a three color panel where there's a sky blue white and also a gray option just go on and hit apply and uh, yeah, gradient looks slightly better. So you can start with that as the background. And that's how you can go about applying a unique background to your building elevations. You can also turn on an image, but I'm just going to leave that for you in case you're trying to do that. You can test it out and see how it works. For shadows, you can go over to the shadow, the shadow option here. Just click the, down, the arrow down. You can see that I currently don't have shadows on the elevation. You can go on to accept shadows and then hit apply as well so you can see what you're looking for once you go on to do that you can see the shadow has now been applied to the model you can see the shadow of the street lamp that is here is also going into the building you can somehow reduce the intensity of shadows but i'm going to show you how you're going to do that much later in the video so the next thing you're going to do is the ambient shadows and then you can go on to turn on ambient shadow this kind of adds a soft effect lighting on all the other buildings so it's easier to just should show you how it works let's go ahead and hit apply and then you can see there's a soft shade above the building and that's kind of how ambient works for some reason this sort of helps in some scenarios in other scenarios it probably doesn't always do the best but for now i'm going to leave it the way it is and then let's go into the lighting and then this is where you're going to go on to increase or reduce the intensity of the shadows you can see the sun and ambient light you can go on to increase ambient light turn that to maybe a portion of eight and then hit apply can't really tell what the difference was in that scenario but for the shadows you can reduce shadow intensity like this and then go all the way down it was currently at 60 before but we can kick in all the way down to 30 and then hit apply you can see the shadows are a lot softer now and this is this looks a lot more presentable now we're going to apply the same principles to this other elevation that's the north view of the building and then like i said go into the properties panel just go on to click the this, the graphic and display option once you're there, it's currently on a hidden line. You can actually switch this to the shaded version and then also apply. So I think we need to try this with shaded as well. So looking at the shaded version, okay, let's just try consistent colors. Yeah, let's go back to consistent colors and then just the same way, start with the background. You can also start with any option that you want, to be honest. What I'm going to do is to change it from the background being none, change it in the gradients panel and then go on to apply gradients to it. And we have a good background in there that kind of just brings the building to life and just takes away the white background that was there before. You can then go into the shadows panel and then turn on the casting shadows and then also turn on ambient shadows. Go ahead and hit apply and then you do have your shadows now turned out. Now you can see that somehow the shadows are a bit intense. So you can go over to the lighting panel and then change the intensity of the shadows from 60. You can drop it all the way down to maybe 30 or 35. Have it in there and then hit apply. And you can see your soft shadows. Maybe this one is a bit too soft. So I'm going to just increase it all the way to maybe 40 and then see what we have in that sense. So that's how you can go about adding ambient lighting, going on to add shadows and skyline to your building elevation to try and make it look, you know, a bit more realistic or something like that. So if you did find this video useful, do let me know in the comment section. And if you have any more questions about Revit and building elevations, you can let me know in the comments as well. I'll see you in the next video.